the air. You're on the air. Hey, good morning, Howard. Good morning. Um, you probably don't remember me. You interviewed me about a couple of years ago. I'm like the guy who knows everything about Eric, the actor. Right. Uh, anyways, uh, today is the 10-year anniversary of uh, Eric calling into the show. And Is that right? Guys, How do you know that? Because it's dated September 19th, 2002. I'm, that, that's what I do. I mean, I know everything about Eric. Wow. So you're um, saying 10 years ago today, Eric the Actor made his first phone call. He called in for the first time. He was angry at you because you were being mean to Kelly Clarkson. You were calling her uh, fat and ugly, and obviously he had to uh, call into her defense. Uh, Eric, did you know it's your 10th anniversary today? Uh, I've been emailing you for a couple days now about that. I see. Why aren't we having some big celebration? Gary, that's a question for Gary, uh, Rob. Why is there not a big celebratory event going on here? Maybe this is it, Robin. Um, is there... I, I think that you should be, you should celebrate it right now. I don't think there's, right. I mean, should I, should, should I celebrate Marianne from Brooklyn's first week on the air, Eric? Yeah, well, is, has Eric been hounding you about this, that we should have some sort of celebration? He sent a note, and he just said that he was surprised that you made him wait on the sh uh, on the phone for so long because it's his 10th year on the show, and the big line was, doesn't that mean anything to anyone? <laughs> no. Eric, haven't you figured out that none of that means anything to us? We don't celebrate our own anniversaries. Right. I don't even know like what year this is that I've, um, that I'm a broadcaster. I, I know. I, when people ask him, I, it's 30-something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about anniversaries. You know, my, Howard, are you aware that last week was my 28th anniversary on the show? I actually was not. It was. <laughs> and I'm not angry that you let it go by. Hey, by the way, Eric, you'll be pleased to know that now that I officially know your 10th year anniversary, we have huge plans for your 20th anniversary. <laughs> We're going to start now, 10 years in advance. It's going to take us 10 years to plan it. Yeah, Eric, I mean, seriously, you understand that we don't give a shit, right? I was kind of hoping that you would. But, but Eric, I mean, as Gary just pointed out, we don't celebrate anybody's 10th anniversary of calling into the show. It, you know, sometimes Eric can seem really smart to me, and yeah. like he seems incredibly with it. And then when he, and then when he gets upset about dumb shit, I go, "Wow, he's really dumb." I fucking retarded. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop saying that. Don't don't put yourself down. <laughs> I fucking retarded. <laughs> you're not serious right. when you make these calls, are you? <laughs> I think I'm a bit serious. Would you like me to fly you with balloons for your anniversary? No. What would you envision might happen? Let's see if we can make it come true. It's your 10th anniversary. What would you like us to do? Well, there's some kind of acknowledgement would have been nice. Mm -hmm. So all you want to do is be acknowledged. Right. Oh, I see. Well, that's happened now. Well, maybe Javier can say a few words about yeah. you. Well, the power, yeah, if I may say something, and even though... Eric uh, apparently hates me ever since uh, ever since he heard of me and then you interviewed me. I I like to say that on behalf of the fans, I just wanted to say thanks for ten years of really entertaining calls. I mean, you have to at least acknowledge the fact that uh, he's probably one of the best, if not the best, caller ever into the show. Just just for entertainment value. When is your anniversary, Javier? Of what? Of calling in. Um, it would be, I guess. No, November. I called in. The maybe we should prepare for that, Robin. Uh, Javier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe we need a Javier anniversary, okay? You remember the day you had Billy Joel in? Yes. That's my anniversary. Wow. What a great <laughs> day. I mean, mark we that down. We brought Billy Gary. in for you. Eric, do you think we should celebrate Javier's uh, anniversary as well? No. <laughs> Why do you hate me, Eric? Because, jackass. You don't know all there is to know about me like you think you do. Eric, I'm only talking about the stuff that you call into the show. Obviously, I don't know anything about your personal life. That's the only thing I'm referring to. Eric, ask and him a question and see if he knows it. You know, something you've done on the air. He's not saying he knows you. He's saying he's a fan. I think Javier's a fan of yours. Yeah, that's all. Well, you know, Eric hates his fans. 
You know how well, I don't, in- Robin. You're always Howard. throwing them off your, your whatever you're on. You throw them off. Yeah, Eric, I don't get you. Like That's because they talk shit about me. <laughs> I, there's a whole hell of a lot of them that are still currently on my Twitter page that I have not thrown off. Over twenty five thousand, to be exact. All Eric, right. you, Eric, you blocked me from your Twitter page for like two years ago. Why? I don't know. Did he say what you did wrong? No. Well, you know what? I tried to get in touch with Johnny Frado, and I think he talked to him. And according to Johnny in an email, he said, Eric thinks that you're a double agent and he's you're out to get him. I don't even know what that means. Wow. Did you use the M word as in midget? Well, I might have at uh-huh. points, a certain point. But you know what? Even That's one thing i got to say. I've never been mean-spirited to you. If you ever read anything that I said, Eric, it might have been a goof in the spirit of the Howard Stern show, but I have never, ever been mean-spirited to you. I've defended you when people have been mean-spirited to you. I even bought stuff from for him and from his well, Amazon. Why don't, you celebrate, why don't you celebrate his uh, anniversary? I understand you prepared a list, Javier. Yeah, I have a list of what I think are like the top five moments of Eric on the show, at least my favorites. All right, go ahead. Uh, in no particular order, the flying with balloons bit, probably right. the best bit in the show that will never happen. <laughs> uh, but the whole thing, you know, when when you try to go to him into flying with balloons to meet Catherine McPhee, it was it was great. Thank you. Uh, number two, the zero point zero call. You remember that? Yes. When uh, Fred played that. Uh, number three, when he. Uh, when he talked to Johnny to put a hit out on that guy, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, when Eric put out a hit, that you was You know great. what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. That Number was good. Number four would be uh, the whole... You remember Kendra, the, the, the girl that had, he thought it was his girlfriend? Right. Uh, the whole Kendra thing that was... If you, Howard, if you listen from January to March of 2009, that is Eric at his very best. And what that about, was, was that the Bunny Ranch chick, Kendra? No, no, no. no. She no. was a porn star. Yeah, see, right. see, there's where I know this guy's not an expert. He said 2009 to be exact mor- moron. It was 2008. I said 2008, Eric. Oh, I could have sworn I already say 2009. No, it's 2008. I know. You and, know, uh, Javier knows. Last but not least, uh, my personal favorite was uh, when he announced he was doing a, a modeling agency. Oh, that oh, was that, great. The, the contest was great. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Eric, Eric was going to have a modeling agency, and the, the girl had to live with him for a minimum of two years. Well, he had this whole t- contest he was running, yeah. and the prize was, was living with him. L- yeah, right. You could either get, get an apartment near him or live with him. <laughs> yeah, for seven years. <laughs> And then he would manage your modeling career. That's right. Now, how did that work out, Eric? <laughs> did you ever get anybody to do that, Eric? Johnny and I never really ever did it. Oh. Right. Listen, Eric, uh, even though uh, you might not change your opinion about myself, uh, there's nothing but love coming from here. And uh, just Would you consider unblocking Javier on a probationary basis, Eric, in honor of your your anniversary? Maybe. I don't know. I don't even remember what his username was. Javier, did so you... I, can get, I guess I could get in contact with Johnny again, and I can uh, send him my information. And uh, if All he right. decides, then that would be great. He and... even thought you were an idiot. <laughs> Who, Johnny? Yes. Johnny was gracious to me. He was great. You know what, Javier? I was just thinking, you left out on your top five. When um, Eric got that acting job and he was worried about werewolves in New Mexico. Yeah, that was great. That was a great moment. Come on. What about, Howard, what about that time when uh, when he did that uh, in plain sight and uh, he was going to sue the production company because they didn't give him, like, one bottle of Pepsi. Right, right, right. right. missing bottle of Pepsi. Or how about when yeah. his, everyone wanted him to go in another show where his head would explode and he wouldn't do it? Yeah. Right. Well, how about all the roles he won't take? Right, right, right. He refuses to play certain parts. 
But come on, the best was when he was afraid of werewolves in New Mexico. Yeah. Speaking of the fact of shows that or roles that I would take, um, I sent a list of different shows that I would like to appear on. <laughs> yeah, I got the same list. Actually, I told I don't know if you know this, Eric. I, I've been working on Whitney Cummings to put you on her show. Yeah, I, I talked to you about that a couple of weeks ago on the yeah. AGT show. Actually, Beth was approached to be on the Whitney Cummings show, and uh, I said to Beth, can you write back to Whitney and say, you can't do it, but Beth was unavailable, but would she consider Eric the actor? Oh. And, uh, oh, yeah, they go up for the same roles all the time. Well, I mean, you know, in other words, like sometime in the future. And, I, and Whitney wasn't opposed to it, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Tabitha told me that Chris D'Elia was asking her about me. I said to I said to um, Whitney, maybe like Eric could play your abusive boyfriend or something. Well, and, she, her character has the voice of right. Chris D'Elia. Yeah, but you're the new boyfriend who's abusive. Or an old uh, boyfriend who used to abuse her. Right, right, right. Yeah, you come back and like... <laughs> And that's and he, how, you still have that effect on her. Yeah, like like whenever you're around her, she like just freaks out, but secretly <laughs> she's still in love with you. Oh my god, I'd love to see that. That would be a great episode. Would, would Eric play a zombie in The Walking Dead? That's a, a good wheelchair question. Wheelchair zombie. I've would never wa never watched that show. It's a good show. Great yeah, show. A lot of people do shows they've never watched when they're actors. Would you play a, a zomb a wheelchair zombie? No. <laughs> uh, he's no no fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they got this sound for a buzzer. They heard Eric. Sounds <laughs> so like the AGT buzzer. Uh, that is a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to work. What's, what are your shows, real quick, what you want to be on? That's <laughs> Can you let me speak? Yes. You know, it's fucking rude to ask a person a question and not let them answer. <laughs> All right, let them to answer, please. The shows range on networks from Fox. All right. ABC, CBS. Go ahead. Let's hear the list and already. You want the whole gamut. Yeah, you don't have to intro it. Well, Fox has got uh, the new show, Ben and Kate. I watched the first episode of that already yeah, on, on demand. All right. Yeah, it's, it's a good show. Go ahead. Do you do that one? Yeah, he'd do that. New Girl. Okay, that's a Fox. current series. Hey, okay. Yeah. Can I just help out a little bit? Because he'll tell us about the ones, but I have two that he sent me because he's got plot line ideas for himself. Let me hear it. Okay, he wants to be on FX Anger Management. My character could be an actor that has been sent to Charlie for help because I trashed a set when I noticed Craft Services was out of Pepsi, and Ronnie could play my limo driver with his own anger issues. All right, and what's the other one? Uh, also on FX, Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah, I, I watch that. I love it. <laughs> the the storyline can have them making a delivery of drugs or guns near Carson City, Nevada, and they stop in the Bunny Ranch for a break and have some fun with the girls. I could be in the Bunny Ranch parlor where they hang out talking to some of the girls. Oh, you just want to be at the Bunny Ranch. You want to know something? <laughs> That's a pretty good plot line right there. I'd see that on Sons of Anarchy. But all Eric is is an extra in it. No, no, no. He'd have some lines. He'd be there with the girls and maybe, uh, you know, he'd be what one of the... What he just said in his plot line, well, he'd be just sitting in the parlor with the girls. He'd be sitting there and then he'd be, he'd be like one of the Johns and he kind of, you know, kind of starts talking to one of the girls about some stuff and maybe he uh, interacts with one of the Sons of Anarchy. Well, now you're fleshing out the role. Eric yeah. didn't give himself a character or anything. And why would Sons of Anarchy... You know what would be good, though? What if Eric played like a like the Sons of Anarchy are on their bikes and they're riding down the highway and then they run over Eric? Like, <laughs> like, like a, a speed bump. Like a raccoon. <laughs> or somebody has Eric in a sidecar and it just detaches and goes Wee. down the other Wee. way. Yeah. I'm flying. I'd hang him from Ron Perlman's handlebars. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> His character can't write anymore. I know he's having trouble. All right, I'll anyway. Get back on that bike. I'll ride on Jax's bike. Hey, Jax, you're hot. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, what's, Eric. Uh, what's... Congratulations on your 10th anniversary as a caller to the show. 
He didn't give us his full list of shows. Oh, please, Robin. You're, you're killing me here. <laughs> Community. I'm always two, fascinated. Community and Parenthood are two more, but he had no plot lines for them. Community and Parenthood. All right. There you go, Robin. All right. Well, uh, Ben and Katie wants to be on. And New Girl. I don't know what New he's girl. to play. Yeah. Now, maybe he plays a girl. <laughs> Another girl. No. Would you ever be in drag for a role? No, I would not. Uh-huh. No. And what I would play on those two shows is a guy that the main character of each main female character of each show would be going out on a date with. <laughs> would you play a baby on Parenthood? Like a guy, would, let's say you're a guy or a criminal and you have to break in, like, so you go to a daycare center, you get in a crib and you're sort of pretending to be a baby so that you can rob the place. No. Hmm. No, you're hard to write for. See, that to me would be a good show. Like, like on Parenthood, they mm. take the kid to like a, uh, they're, they're checking out some, I've never seen the show, but I would imagine there's young kids involved and they yeah. go to the daycare center and there in the daycare center is this baby. That, and, that's real nice that you've never seen a show when two of the people involved with it are big fans of your show. Who's on it? Dax. Oh. Dax Shepard. Um, plus, isn't Ron Howard a big fan? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't watch all the shows. I have so many fans, Eric. I can't watch all of their shows. <clears throat> At Mint Mobile, we're always looking for innovative ways to save you money so you can keep paying $15 a month for premium wireless. That's why instead of hiring an expensive director for this commercial, we found someone willing to work for candy and approval. Hey, Daddy, sweetie. Sweet Daddy's face is up here. Okay, there you go. All right, admit. <laughs> no, too high, too high, too high, honey. There you go. Hey, hey. Huh? You know. Hey, look at the way you treat your fans. Poor Javier can't even get on your Twitter. <laughs> Don't criticize me. They're both the same. Well, you know, he doesn't have to like me. I, I still like him. It's okay, Eric. But, you know, that would be a pretty good episode where, so Eric's in the, you know, he's in the, let's say, the, an orphanage or what, I don't know, like a daycare center. And, like, a, at first they look at him, that one looks strange, and they're like, and he just goes, I have aging disease. I can't believe Eric doesn't want to be on Glee. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> really? No? <laughs> Sounds think like you, it's right up your alley. I think you would love that. Not at all. Would Why you play not? one of those gay, like, um, chorus kids? Don't stop. Would, nope. leave. You would never play gay. You would never play a gay character. Nope. The only, the only shows that I would... Beyond that, have any gay type things for them would be the new normal and modern family. I see. Mm -hmm. Would you be like a baby on Modern Family? No. <laughs> in this, in this kind of would you little play little a meth baby on Breaking Bad? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. no? Like somebody had a big meth habit and you became the well, yeah, baby. I'm and, the, and, and then all of a sudden, like the doctor, like <laughs> they show her giving birth and everything, and then, oh my God, there's complications. And then all of a sudden, they cut to like the baby coming out, and it's you. And you're like, oh God, look what meth did oh. to the baby. And then, it'd, you know, be like, it would be very, very anti drug. It would be yeah. good. People would stop yeah. doing meth if they saw that. The idea that I came up with for Modern Family was I would play a math teacher for Manny, who, and my character would get the hots for his mom. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, hey, happy anniversary. Javier, I hope you get added back to Eric's Twitter following. Let's hope so. Eric, are you political at all? Have you come out for Romney or uh, Obama? Oh. I'm Democrat, so yes, I would. Go for Obama, not not Romney. Right. As uh, Jesse I'm, Ventura would say, you're a Democrat. Right. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> Are little people allowed to vote, <laughs> Robin? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yes. that. Yes. Only the felons aren't, but little people are. Yeah, I didn't know if you guys were yeah, allowed to vote. It's an age thing, not a <laughs> not a. Little I just, people. I just wanted to ask Eric that question. See, how, see what he said. And um. I was wondering, do you have any... Don't you think that's against, like, like, like little people, how do they vote? Because the, those things are up high. The, the things... I'm sure they get help. What do, you, what do you do, Eric, when you vote? Do you do I absentee? Do 
Yeah. Yes. Absentee ballot. I, I was trying to ask the do you have any prize money? Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> In honor of your 10th we anniversary? To Eric, not Wendy. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think we do, actually. Although we do have money for Javier, your fan. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Howard? Yes. Do you think it would be fun? I think this is one of the things that bothers Eric. Do you think it would be funny at all to pit Eric against myself in an Eric the Actor trivia contest? Like, in other words, see who can answer more questions? I mean, wouldn't it be funny if I actually beat him at knowing more about himself than than he? Yeah, we got to have some money for that. But what is it, uh, J.D.? He's doing a blog party this weekend. He doesn't need any money. <laughs> oh, he's getting yeah, paid. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, he's getting paid. Doesn't he get a couple of grand for that? Oh, I don't know about that, but I, I mean, I don't know why he's begging for money. <laughs> You're getting paid this weekend, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, stop being a freeloader, like Mitt Romney says, and yeah. go to work. Now, maybe Mitt Romney's on to something. <laughs> no wonder you're for Obama. You get your hand out. Thank you, Katie. If you call that hand. Gary, do we have any, like, is there a way that, like, in the commercials we could put together really quick a, like, a five-question contest between Javier and Eric for, like, some money? I think I have some money, but what kind of a contest? Like, where we ask... Eric, the actor trivia about his various appearances on the show, and then see who can answer more questions. Javier's claiming he can beat Eric at his own trivia game. I definitely have the money. Let me see if I can work on the game. Yeah, I mean, it's short notice. I don't know anything about Eric, the actor, so I don't know that I can be much help. I would want to hear that. Would you, Robin? I'd love it. All right, Eric, hold on. Javier, hold on. Let me see if I can throw something together. I'm not guaranteeing anything. Can, All right. Can I... Can I quickly make a couple little promotions? Oh, boy. <clears throat> Can you wait till after the commercial? Eric, right, it's yeah. not a good time to promote when you've bored everybody to death. Yeah, right. No one wants to see you now. <laughs> hold on. If it wasn't for Javier, you wouldn't even be interested. That's right. Uh, hold on. Well, one of the things... Oh, oh my God. God. Hold on. I got a break. All right, promote it. We're coming back right, after the commercial. <laughs> what a great 10th anniversary this is. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I just... Ah, oh, fuck. I think I what, just... What, you, did you cut him off? No, I think he's still on hold. Javier, you're still there, right? Yeah, I'm here. All right, let me see if I can get you on hold. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on. I think I might have hung up on... You I might have know. hung up on Javier, too? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know even now. Free shipping and free returns. Every day. Got the best of fall at sax.com. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Hey guys, do you think you can help me out? Um, we got to do this really quick. There's a guy on the phone who claims he knows more about Eric and his appearances than Eric. So try to put together a quick five-question game about Eric's appearances. Like, um, you know, what did Eric agree to? You know what I mean? Can, can you guys think of anything? Uh, I'll have to search. You know, Mark, Jason, can you do some searching, too? I have one. What job did uh, Eric turn down uh, for TV because he thought it was too satanic? This is, I don't really have this. Richard, uh, what job did Eric turn down on TV because he thought it was too satanic? Which one? Adult Swim. Oh, really? Yeah, that was uh, from 2011. For just $59 a year, get a multi-pack of space for your PC or Plus, access what on Adult Swim, though? He's going to take a job on Adult Swim. Hey, can you find out what cartoon on Adult Swim? Don't wait. Go to Carbonite.com today and type in the offer code 100 for a free trial with no credit card required. Plus, two free bonus months with your subscription. That's I'll just put the Adult Swim. Okay. Hey, Gary, can you help me with this uh, game for Eric the Actor? Yeah, yeah. I, I know we got bamboozled into this. Give me some prize money, and let's see if uh, who wins. I think we only have three questions for the Eric the Actor game. Again, we had to do this on short notice. <laughs> Gary, here's another one. I know if it's, There's not uh, that much information out there about Eric. All right. Do you want to do the questions, or do you want me to do them? You better do them, because I can't read that. 
All right. Let me get these guys on the phone. There's Eric the actor. <laughs> Eric, you there? Yes. All right. Let me get Javier. Javier, are you there? Yep. All right. We're playing for $500 cash from Steven Singer Jewelers. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com today. Great guy. Steven Singer. Give you a good deal. All right. Here's the game. There's going to be three questions. So, therefore, hmm, someone will win. you got to have the best two out of three. Right. Right. All right. Now, nobody blurred out any answers. Here we go. I'll go to Eric the Actor first. Ask him the question. If he gets it wrong, Gary, I assume we'll go to Javier with the same question. Right. Correct. Don't blurt out answers. Robin. Shh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Don't blurt out <laughs> the answer, Robin. Robin's I'm, an expert. I'm reminding myself. Right. All right. Here we go. Eric the actor first. In Eric's first phone call to the Stern Show, who did he say were the top two chicks he masturbated to? Eric, go Ooh. ahead. You have very few seconds to answer. Eric, are you I there? Know, uh Yes. Who are the two chicks you said you masturbate to? He's on the internet. Good up. That's why I'm, 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 I'm making my answer <laughs> right away. <laughs> Eric, yeah. answer now. All right, Eric, we're going to hit the oh, buzzer. Wait, 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 wait. Take a guess real quick. I know one of them off the top I had was um, Beverly Mitchell. All right, Beverly Mitchell. And who else? Yeah, you need both. Why would you give up the name now that it's going to go over to Javier? Uh, who knows if he's right. All right. Uh, Eric, i got to give you a no. You did not mention the two women. I'm not going to say whether Beverly Mitchell is right or not. Let's go to Javier. Javier, who are the two women? Um, well, actually, that's a tough one. So I'm going to say one of them is Beverly Mitchell because he said it. I'm going to say the other one is Pamela Anderson. All right. Uh, is he right? The answer is Beverly Mitchell from 7th Heaven and Britney Spears. All right. Well, you're both wrong. Both wrong. Sorry, guys. There'll be no money for you on base Yeah, we could wind. No, never mind. Go on. All right, Javier. You, yeah, I know. I know. I, I could do it. I might have another one. All right. <laughs> Javier, uh, you're going to go first. Gary, ask him the question. Javier, who were the three celebrities in studio with Eric the Midget when he came in for his only in-studio appearance in 2008? Javier, who were the three? All right. It was Diana DiGarmo. Go ahead. Uh, it was uh, Natalie Maine. Go ahead. And the wrestler... Oh. Fuck, I forgot his name. Um, the wrestling guy that came in with Diana Garmel. Um, oh, man. You're running out of time. Hurry. Give me the name of a wrestler. I I can't remember the name of the guy. All right. Now we got to move it over to Eric. All right, let's go over to Eric. Eric, go ahead. Kurt Angle, Natalie Means, and Diana DeGarmel. That is correct. All right. Javier had it. He just kept pulling one. I feel bad for Javier because he really had it. But, yeah. But that's, this that's is the thing. game. And uh, there you go. So one for Eric. And now the final question. If uh, Javier ties up, Eric, you'll go first. You could put it away right here. Go ahead, Gary. What TV job did Eric turn down because he thought it was too satanic? Eric? The animated cartoon on the cartoon, cartoon Network. Is that correct, no, Gary? I don't remember the name of the show. Oh, he doesn't know the name. That's, that is incorrect. You do not know the name of the show, all right? Javier, you can get back in the game. Gary, give him the question again. What job on TV did Eric turn down because he thought it was too satanic? It was, yeah, it was a satanic cartoon. I don't think he said the name of the show, but it... Uh... It was, it was, it's, there's not a name of a show. It's a particular network. What kind of question is that? South. You want the name of the network, or yeah, you want the, the name of this he, network? The name of the network. <laughs> yeah, well, now well, we that, have to ask fair. Eric again. We have to ask Eric again. Did you just go? <laughs> he actually, the Eric gave me the name of the network. Oh, he, so so he answered the question. No, he didn't. He 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 gave an answer, and it was incorrect. It wasn't correct. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gary, this is a horrible game. I, you know, I, <laughs> he might have been correct. I don't. Sal I, was involved. <laughs> he may have been correct. I have an answer here, and I don't know. Wait a second. You trusted Sal uh, to make the game? You gave me four minutes. All right. Sal and Richard put this game no together. No wonder this is going so badly. Oh, my God. They're two retarded people put the game together. <laughs> it, was, it was very quick. What? Wait, we're not, we're oh. not at a tie yet. Okay, but Sal, you was, idiot. Which channel? That was correct. It was a satanic cartoon on the... Cartoon Network. Is the Cartoon Network correct, Sal? It's not. Sal says it's not correct. Is it a, is it a particular show? It's called Adult Swim. 
Adult that's Swim the is Cartoon correct. Network, you moron. Well, evidently, that's Adult Swim is right. Network. <laughs> Gary, I think oh the game God. is. Mm. It's, 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 the answer is Adult Swim. I don't know what Adult Swim yeah, is. But that's on. a shitty question. Well, no, it's a shitty answer. Oh, I, I knew, you know what? I knew I shouldn't have gotten involved in this game. Even when Eric said he needed money, I should have just hung up. I agree. I hate Sal. I hate Eric. And oh, I hate on, Javier Jason. now. I'm sorry. Yeah. And they did nothing wrong. Can I say something? Adult Sal, you're such a shit stain. Oh, can I tell you something? Yeah. Okay. I had a I'd rather you say I can't come up with a game. No, no, no. I can. Okay, go I ahead. I had to come up with immediate facts that had documented 8 9 11. He said he turned down a satanic show from Adult Swim. And, that and was it's it. a cable television network. Well, it's, I didn't know. I didn't space know with Cartoon Network. It, right. right. So I didn't know if it was so a network, but it was for the Adult yeah, Swim but show. saying the question so... He, it, 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 it's so specific. What did he turn down? What satanic role did he turn down? And no, he made it perfectly you said clear. What satanic role did he turn down? But you were looking for the name of a network or a show. I don't or a it show. Just, it just said what satanic show did he turn down? Right. And so when it. he said Cartoon Network, I don't. I'm looking at Adult Swim. I don't know what that means. You wrote a question that's ridiculous. It's for Adult Swim. He said yeah, that. But we show. don't not, listen to. Read the question you wrote down. The question. Can I have the question, please? <laughs> You didn't ask for the name of the network. But it was specific. Right. You you, you wouldn't oh say NBC. Oh, my God. You're, you're retarded. It's impossible no, to deal it's with not. you. You just love you doing don't, this no, to me. No, you can't explain. Yes, I can. Go ahead, read the question. What job on TV did Eric turn down because he thought it was too satanic? But that's not Adult the name of Adult Swim. Adult Swim. Adult Swim is the show. Oh, what? No, no, it's, it's a network. network. Well, then it was, idiot. it was documented that way. Howard, oh, I can show you God. the document. Sal, why can't you admit you fucked up? What am I fucking you, up? There's nothing clear about that question. We're asking, we don't know what you're asking for. You could never write for a game show. That, that, what are you asking for? Adult Swim is the name of the network. you got to say, what was the name of the network that, that Eric almost worked it for? It was the Cartoon Network, Howard. It, Adult no, Swim is on. But that's not your question. The Read the network. question what again. What job on television did Eric turn down? That what has job? nothing to do with a network. Uh, I agree, but there is no specific... I'm not, I never said a network in here. <laughs> so what are you but the keyword is satanic. There's only one show we turned down that was satanic. It was Adult Swim. Adult Swim's the name of a network. It's not a show. It's not a show. Well, Jason Kaplan just said that it's on the Cartoon Network. Yeah, no, no, no. Adult it is Swim a, is a network that shares space. Okay, but it was, oh doc my it was documented. Sal, with you're an idiot. It was documented Sal. when he called in. He Sal. said this specifically. Sal. This is a specific Sal, quote. listen to me. Your IQ is so corrupt oh, and low. stop. It is not. That you don't even know what I'm saying to you. <laughs> yes, I do. It's not a question of I know what, what a network is. You're, like you're, you work on AGT. The network is NBC. Uh, I know the uh, difference. Uh, so what would the question be? What show were you on on television? AGT. Right. What That's show did he it. turn down satanically on TV? He Adult, didn't turn down Adult, Adult Swim. Swim. Is the That's network. not the name. What? It doesn't matter. He's satanically. What, 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 <laughs> you're an idiot. You're what, a moron. When he explained it. You know what a moron this guy is? I got to tell everybody. Hold on. We're in the middle of a game. I know. <laughs> I got to tell you what a dummy he is. We're stopping the game for a second. I'm I not a moron. Sal. I come up with good ideas here. <laughs> <laughs> ideas. So yesterday, <laughs> perhaps... We we had a meeting yesterday. We now have a, a conference room. We have a community we formed. Like you know how people are on Facebook. Yeah. We have a community called Muldred. It's a Which private. Nobody's invited me to. Well, you you wouldn't. You're, you're not. Yeah, you're not a part of it. <laughs> if you want to be, you can be. But I, I try to spare you these things. <laughs> Muldred was a community I developed with the guys at IBM. It's uh, they have a great piece of software called uh, Communities or uh, Connections. And you have your own community. Called Muldred. It's a place where my staff can write and communicate with one another. So I decided yesterday I rented out a conference hall mm -hmm. a with hall? a big screen. Yeah, conference wow. hall with a screen. And it was mandatory that everybody on Muldred has to attend. Right. I got up, I made about a half hour presentation, then I turned the meeting over to John Hine. Wow. And did you have like audio video? Yeah, uh, yeah, everything. Displays all everything? the accoutrements. Wow. So that we could teach everybody how to use Muldred. And so we even had two guys from IBM there. I was also going I was gonna ask if I could have a personal No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course you can. <laughs> of course of course if, if listen. So the problem is, I know everything, uh, not everything, but I know a lot of stuff about Muldred, and so does John Heim. We've, right. been, we've been working through this thing for months, okay? Mm -hmm. And rather than sit down with everyone individually and try to explain it to them, which could take forever, we said, let's get everyone together, we'll answer all your questions and explain how this thing works. Makes sense, right? 
Absolutely. Well, everybody, mandatory to be there. You have to have an ID and a card to get in. It's a whole formal right, meeting. Right, I saw the thing. Bring your building ID, right, et cetera. Right, So I'm up there, and I'm talking for, I would say, close to a half hour. I'm explaining Muldra to everybody. I'm going through the intricacies, how to sign on, how to use this thing, how to communicate with one another, how we shall, how we shall work together. And at one point, about 25 minutes in, I go, and for example, let's say Sal wants to do this. He's doing a phony phone call and he wants help with it. I go, where is Sal? We look around the room. No Sal. 25 minutes into this fucking thing, I'm talking my brains out. Like the last thing I want to do is sit there and, exp and teach. Who's not there? Everyone is there. The only one not there is who? Sal. Sal. Why not? Right. So with that, like almost like by a miracle, right, 25 Sal. minutes, all of a sudden, who comes running in the room like on fire? All Sal. Flustered. Everybody else is there. I go, Sal, what's going on? He goes, hey, Howard, I was making a phony phone call to... Um, where did you make the McDonald's in Libya to McDonald's in Libya? All right. So I go, OK, fine, whatever. You're late. Now, I didn't say this then. This guy is here all morning. He's going to be there after the meeting. Mm -hmm. I need him there at 11 o'clock for the meeting. What? Everybody else knows. And I'm thinking to myself, well, OK, I don't want to slow down the meeting berating Sal in front of everyone. But now he's missed 25 minutes. He has no fucking clue what's going on. And the, the absurd answer that he was making a phony phone call to McDonald's. McDonald's isn't going anywhere. Right. It's going to be there all day. Libya so far hasn't gone anywhere. Well, I have important information that was just handed to me by yeah. John Lieberman. Right. Sal went to the newsroom to ask two different people where the meeting was. Yeah, when yeah. I stormed You're out. You're a fucking idiot. I stormed out of the room. How did everybody else know? Couldn't you have prepared a little... I was caught up in the call, and then all of a sudden I looked at the clock. It said 11.21. Oh, I said, holy dude, shit, and dude. I ran but, out. So, I, can I ask I a panicked. question? We all did the wrap-up show together, right? We ended at 11 together, right. right? And we all frantically came in here and grabbed our notebooks and our pens and ran down to the meeting. So why did you go to make a phone call when we were all leaving together? I was just caught up in it. It was just, I, dude, I messed up. There's no excuse. The There's no excuse. With them. You're, you're retarded. I, I got there. You know, I missed 20 minutes, but I got Muldred down pretty well. So uh, <laughs> no, you, thank you, you missed you're shifting. As well as you got the Deflecting. You, you, you think deflecting, you got I'm Muldred answering. down. I'm gonna, I mean, you know what I'm going to do after the show? I'm going to fucking quiz you on Muldred and see how well you got I know I, a lot about Muldred. Yeah, okay. You could quiz me right now. No, I'm not going to bore the audience. Well, we're in the that. middle of another game. We're, we're in the middle of the game you just fucked up. <laughs> uh, I didn't screw that Unlike up. Unlike the meeting you fucked up yesterday. Well, I apologize about that. Yeah, good. I, I just wasn't aware of time. It happens. We all screw up. Uh, no, we all don't. <laughs> not one person screwed up but you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Can I say something about this question? What question? <laughs> the, the one question that, that Sal screwed up. Yeah, I mean, Eric, forget it. I mean, the guy fucked up. What am I going to do? Wait, Adult Swim, for this moron's information, is a block of different animated right. and non-animated shows on the Cartoon Network. It's not Eric, it goes beyond of, that. Eric, it goes beyond that. I mean, the question doesn't even make sense. We don't know but what he's asking for. He's asking I, for the network. He's asking for the name of a show. He's asking for 50 different things. It, the, the whole thing is screwed. I made it as general and simple as possible. What TV? General how did you, is I want to get back to how did you miss that meeting yesterday? It's beyond uh, my comprehension. What? How many times do I have a meeting that important where I rent out a conference room? Not many. So that I can help you with things. And I appreciate it, and I apologize. I was a little late. Thank God I know Mozart very I well. I was done. 25 minutes. How do you think I do? You think I would want to miss meeting me out of all people? What? You think I would want to miss him? Yes, of course you did. I know, but do you think... I, yes, I, I think you wanted him. I oh. think you wanted him. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. You're if I had mind. said to you, You're there's a woman waiting in the conference room at 11 o'clock with her legs spread. She's going to fucking fuck you, blow you, and, and, then, and then piss on you. No, all you would have to say, you can piss on her and spit on her. Yeah, right. If I told Rob, you that... Rob, you keep yourself out of it. If I told you that, Sal, you'd be there. Howard, I got caught up in a phony phone call. No, I, I screwed up. Howard, can I just add one more thing? Because Jason pointed this out to me. You know, Sal, as a general rule, you're, you're almost always late for our Tuesday meeting. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I am not. Oh, yeah, you're right. He is. I am not. I don't even think he was there at the last one. Yeah, I sure was. I was absolutely there. Yeah. I've been to every and single meeting. The very last meeting we had, I'm, I was well into the meeting, and I go and tell Richard, you're gonna, we almost a replay of yesterday. I dropped my pen, and Gary, you screamed at me like a lunatic in the hallway. No, 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 no. I had to come again. 
get you. And I went to the bathroom and I left my pen. I dropped my pen. Dude, I, you have OCD? Is that what's going on? I have a little bit of so that. So you have to be late to everything? No, I'm never late to anything. I'm here early in the morning. You're on time will bad things happen? Because bad things have already happened to you. Why, I, why, what are you worried I about? I have a little OCD stuff. Yeah, all the things. magical thinking isn't working. Well, then I'll change it. I'll change the magical yeah. thinking. But yeah, no, change I don't. it to being on time. I'm on time every on morning time, on this show. I'm on time all the time. All the time I'm on time. No, yesterday you weren't. Yes, for that meeting, yes. So I'm, how can you say you're on time all the time? Not all the time, except mm -hmm. for yesterday and, and, the, and the meeting before. Were you late to work the other day, <laughs> I got a report? Nope. Mm -hmm. I wasn't late to work. All right. I was absolutely... Right, thank been you. Like, you thank know. you for... Uh, can I ask someone hey, how much? Yeah. Because, I, again, I'm getting the second hand, thanks to my good buddy, John Lieberman. Sal, God's honest, swear to life your kids. Did you doze off during the Muldred meeting yesterday? No, and why? And Ronnie looked at me and, and closed his eyes like I was. Absolutely not 100% swearing the life of my children. Would not do something like that. You wouldn't be late, you wouldn't, but you did it. I was late. I admitted I was late, Rob, and I apologize about being late. I was in the middle of work and something such happened. such a con man. How am I a con man? I was fucking working on something. Con man. I said I was sorry. How, how am I a con man? Because what am I doing? Because bullshit. You could have worked on that any time. I know I could have, but I was caught up in it, and I looked down, and I realized that it was 11.20. I fucked up. By the way, the phone call's really good, though, at least. Thank that, you. That I'll give you. Is Sounds it? Never late. Yeah. Thank goodness. But he saw it was late the day you made the most important announcement since we've been at Sirius. Oh, remember right, that? Right, yeah. Yes, that I was late for, and you guys pulled a good prank on me, so at least it turned into decent radio. You want to hear when Sal called, as long as uh, this is causing so many problems, you want to hear when Sal called McDonald's in Libya? Yeah, let's hear it. All right, well, first of all, i got to figure out what to do with Eric the actor and Javier. I have a tiebreaker. I wrote a tiebreaker. But Eric's already winning one nothing. Right, okay. we need two more questions now. But, oh, <laughs> I don't want two more questions. Is there a way to pay off the, both these fucking guys? I have two more questions, or I could give them both just, $100 and we can move on. Just much, no, what, wait, wait. Please, Sal, I'm trying to get out of your mess. What is that, Gary? I have two more questions, or we could give them both $500, courtesy of Steven Oh, Sager, I would love that. And move on. Good. Oh, thank you. Just read the plug in Friday and we'll move on. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thank you. You hear that, Sal? You're fuck up. I want I, I you to re get... I want you to rephrase my question because I disagree with you. What job on TV did Eric turn down because he thought it was too satanic? Did he just change the word? What's no, the no, he it's the same thing. What's... So what's the answer? Adult Swim. Adult, Adult swim, swim is, is a, a job. Not a job. It's a network. I get the word job, perhaps. Uh, okay, look, look. Okay. Okay. What Thank job? you. Well, you what, what job? <laughs> the job is would be the name of the show, which we don't know. Or a show. You could have said on. Eric had or a meeting with a network. Network. Or a show on. The word job is the is the is the, the word improper. job makes no sense. That's the improper word. <laughs> There's no. I have to double check the notes because I did copy and all paste. Right, all right, good. Copy and paste. Right. <laughs> and you can be sure he doesn't understand Muldred at all. I, oh, I certainly do. No. Now, yes, what, Eric. What part of my explanation did you not understand? Adult Swim is on the Cartoon Network. It's not one. Yeah, I, I, I know that, Eric. Oh, okay, show. I got to get out of this. He's yelling oh, at Sal. God, right. I, I, I feel yeah, listeners. We'll give you Sal's personal number. Please right, don't listen to me. <laughs> All right, well, I, Eric Javier, I've got good news for you. You've both won five hundred dollars cash in a monumental waste of money. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Howard. It is your fault. I don't. I'm you know blocking what? We're you from Twitter. Block you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You've won five hundred dollars cash from Steven Singer Jewelers. Thank you. Uh, visit IHateStevenSinger.com today. Um, thank you, Steven Singer, for bailing me out on this. I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you, StevenSinger.com. Eric, I'm going to put you and uh, Javier. Don't make me go in. What is this? God is sending me in here. What is, your, what is going on today? Ronnie has something to say. Ronnie, put your headphones on and say what you're going to say. Say what you're going to say. No, he said he wasn't sleeping. I know he was, okay? I swear to God, I was not. I've wit I have a witness. I saw the security you. guy who was working with me. I was. I we, were, we, were laughing, we were laughing our ass off. I was not sleeping. Are you out of your mind? I would not sleep. <laughs> I was sleeping. I don't care. I'm not he even was, arguing. Dude, he was That's, sitting there like this, making I, like he was awake, but he was, his you know eyes why? were closed. You know why? Because he's a big shot. <laughs> big <laughs> shot <laughs> my ass. You better know how to fucking work that moment. Howard, you know I didn't fall asleep. You know it. I would I hope you would. You. I don't know. Ronnie, you I looked at you constantly. I can even tell you like where you were sitting. You knew about no. your head, remember? That's crazy. The, the idea that you know where I was sitting, it, it doesn't mean you didn't fall asleep. I mean, asleep. I was observant of everything that was going on. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. I wish we had a pop quiz for him. Ask me any. Howard knows Muldred. I know Muldred. Ask me anything Ronnie about it. Ronnie has a whole list of people that were falling asleep during the meeting. Wow. 
Well, then he sh you should discuss it with them because I wasn't falling asleep. Yes, I came late. I'll admit that. What job did Muldred turn down for, for being satanic? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I mean, really, you, you, I mean, I always think like you not being intelligent is a joke. It's not. It is not. It, you don't know geography. You don't know anything. Fuck geography. Where am I going? I'm not a pilot. You don't know anything. History. Can I tell you, can I tell you one more? Yeah. Sal thinks, Sal, remember when Sal had melanoma on his ass? Oh, this yeah. is amazing. He had melanoma on his ass? I heard yeah. this on the wrap-up show. Thanks Sal for remembering, was, Robin. It was only cancer. Sal, Sal had a melanoma on his ass. Like, you know, that's what's a pretty serious thing. Yeah. So, you know, skin cancer. So they're talking to him yesterday. Strong... They're talking to him what? yesterday on the wrap-up show. And they're talking about skin cancer. And, and Sal, of course, tans because he doesn't understand that tanning is bad. So what does he do? He doesn't understand that being so, in the sun is tanning. Right. He goes, I he goes, I don't go tanning. I'm just in the sun. T I don't go to tanning salons. Okay, so then they say, well, what do you think causes cancer? He goes, my cancer was caused when my wife hit me with the paintball in my ass. All right, I'm ready. taking this am to the dollhouse. Christine, you like this, don't you? This is so funny. All right, ready? Am I, am I good? Yeah. Okay. Loa? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It could have. There could have been carcinogens in that paint. It didn't. And it broke the skin, Robin. Oh, it did break the skin. Yes, it did. Right. Oh. Oh, well, there's Sal being right. No, no. No, not you're even. not being right. Oh, yes. Not being right. And you know what? Paint it caused your cancer. There could cancer have been carcinogens. Show quickly. And it's in the spot that my wife hit me twice, and I had a hole the size of a fucking golf ball in my ass with the paint in it. And it's in, in, in the No, oh, come on. And I don't tan my ass. Who knows what you do? That's what I was You asking. went to tanning booths As a with kid, your clothes off. Sometimes. That's where you got your carcinoma. It's, it's possible. It's yeah, possible. Okay. Does he get Did the completely... doctor tell you that? Uh, I don't know who told me that. Somebody told me that. Uh, who told you that? I don't know, but if you get a doctor on the phone... Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you know what your doctor said? The most important person, the guy who, who, who diagnosed your cancer... You I'll tell you what my doctor said. He said it could be anything. It could have been the tanning beds. It could have been the sun, and it could have been something else. It could have been from paintball. It could have been. There uh, could have been okay. carcinogens did in your that doctor paint. Doctor said that. I believe he did. Uh -huh. I mean, I wouldn't have remembered it if he did it. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ass. Yeah. Fuck you. What about those mechanical cigarettes you smoke that have a big <laughs> poison bottle on it? I or that was. Yes, With that was from Australia, crossbow, but yeah. I'm using something new now. I'm oh, using the Propecia from India. I stopped using the Propecia from and India. And now he's wearing a helmet with lights on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? The helmet's out. His wife was unhappy about the helmet. She no. wants him to live. No, oh it's God. not that. You brought up a good point, Howard. You said stop it, and I thought about Sal it. Sal got a hold of this helmet where if you stick it on your head and they put lights on, the light makes your hair grow. It's low laser light technology. Oh, fucking idiot. You could follow up on carcinogens and paintballs. That is, and Ro even right. Robin yeah, agrees with that. Right. No, I didn't hear Robin agree with that. Robin, she was a nurse, I and she you, did. It's she, way more likely that you sat in a tanning booth, tanning your asshole. But did he get in the tanning booth naked? Yes, once oh, in a while. No, and back in the day, I wore fruit okay. in the looms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. but it's the area. Yeah, I did expose it. Yes, your an the answer I, is yes. I, the answer is that's where it came from. All right. I my guess. Oh, I'm not definitely. a doctor, but oh. I would say it's more from that than paintball. I have a feel. Sal loves to, you know, go around the internet, right? Yeah. So I have a feeling that the story I'm holding in my hands is what he saw. No, it's, it's a guy true. got shot with paintball, and where he got shot at his cheek revealed that he had a cancerous mole there. Right. That I never, was actually lucky for him because yeah, because he went to get it looked at. Right. Okay. Look, that's not me. Look, Eric the actor. Uh, you've won five hundred dollars courtesy of Steven Singer Jewelers. And so has Javier. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com today. Okay, guys? All right. Okay, th thank you. And You're welcome. Closing, in closing, I'll be at both the block parties this weekend. And I started a new job with TNA, making predictions on their show called TNA Today. Uh, I can't even believe, be believe that happened, but a okay. Couple weeks, in a couple weeks, so we'll start. Very good. I would watch that. All right. Thank you, Eric. It's, it's enough okay. of Eric. All right. I'll put you on hold for your money. And Javier, where is he? Oh, that's Javier. Uh, Eric, oh, I, I'm so it's upset. It's an internet show. All right. Hold on. All right, and a happy anniversary. Thank you. Lashana Tova. All right. All right. So thank you for liking the oh, Libya thing. I'll gonna, yeah, all right. Here it is. Here's Sal. Uh, and here's what he does best. <laughs> yeah, stand here and you take your bow. Now something good's going to happen. Oh, you don't have to leave. 
thank you for liking it. And uh, yeah. you know, all right, here we go. I, I like to go Sal back calls work. McDonald's in Libya. Uh, the idiot. You're leaving now? No, I'm going to stay. The premise is based on. <laughs> well, I'm, keep walking to the door. Just, just stand there and let me. Uh, you'll get a bow here. Thank People you. will praise you. You're an idiot. Sal calls McDonald's in <laughs> Libya. Uh, this is why he missed the meeting. Food. And uh, no. of course, you heard a Kentucky Fried Chicken was burned down in Libya. Actually, it was in Lebanon. Uh, right. So Sal says, "Hey, do you guys have a um, a, uh, a McDonald's?" He calls the, and he goes, are you guys going to burn down this place? All right, so here he goes. Hello. Hello, McDonald's. Yes. Okay. You guys just burnt down the Kentucky Fried Chicken in Libya, and uh, I want to come down to eat at McDonald's. But before I do, I want to know, are you guys on fire? No, no. Uh, really, I don't know about the burning Kentucky Fried Chicken. I live in Benghazi, and I didn't know about the uh, uh, burning Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, I swear, I don't, I don't know. What about <laughs> burning of American flag? Have you burned American flag? Yes, about, uh, we we burned the American flag because the uh, 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 the movie about Rasul. Because we are very nervous about the movie uh, who who made the. A North American movie about the Rasul. Are the Jews to blame for this problem? Yes, Jews are the devil. What's that? Jews are the devil. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So the Jews are to blame for this. All the Jews in the world are devil. Devil. All the Jews of the world are evil. Evil, evil. Yes, yes, evil. Uh, what must evil, we? Evil. They didn't make anything for Libya. Now, do you want America to stay and help Libya, or should America leave Libya? No, no, help, help Libya. If you want us to help Libya, why did you kill our ambassador? I, I, wa I want to go right now. Okay, go. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. Are we safe to come to McDonald's and eat, or will you burn it down like Kentucky Fried Chicken? No, we don't want to burn out any, any, any restaurant or any building in Libya. Okay, so if we come to McDonald's as Americans, you will not burn it down? No, 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 no. I am safe to eat at McDonald's? Yes, yes, you, you are safe and your family is safe. How about the Jews? Uh, a Jewish, uh, no, no. No Jews? No. Okay. Okay. All right, have a good day, sir. Well, have a good day. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Nice people. I love that call. For, <laughs> on a lot of different, uh, for a lot of different reasons. First of all, why do you have an accent? <laughs> I wanted to make them feel comfortable. Right. You're like the, How are we supposed to know you're an American when you're doing an accent, too? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know. All right, well, idiot. <laughs> whatever it is, it worked because... Uh, it, Interesting. The, 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 the best observation I can come up with real quick is that, you know... No matter where you call in the world, no matter what's going on, there's always some woman in the background yapping away, yeah. telling you what to say. That's number one. Who the hell is that? <laughs> that's <Is> universal. <laughs> yeah, that's universal. I like how she was correcting him on devil and evil the, for the, the Jews. Jews. Devil, 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 devil. <laughs> They're evil devils. Uh, devils. Devils. Uh, great word, devils. <laughs> Jews are devils. Uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, really, it's 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 so mind blowing because you get a look, a glimpse. Help us. But, but we're gonna we're gonna burn you and we're gonna burn you and kill your ambassadors yeah. over a stupid fucking movie. They don't even understand the concept that this is a movie no one's ever gonna see unless they make a big deal about it. They're nervous about that movie. Yeah, I mean it's just a brilliant call. And he says, "Come to McDonald's. We won't burn it down." But he has no reservations about telling me he's burning our flag. They right? Say, yeah. No. Oh yes, we're burning your flag. Straight but up. we so, make sure it doesn't burn up the building. Hey, what was that news report that somebody, someone over there burned a flag and the guy died? It was like he br he breathed in all the fumes. What was that? Did you read that? Yeah, I didn't read that. Yeah, some guy. Where was it that that happened? Do you know? Uh, it was at one of the anti-U.S. Um, protests. Yeah, I an think adult it, swim. I, no, an was, adult I, swim. I'm pretty sure it was, it was in the mi swim, yes. it was in the Middle East. He's pretty sure it was somewhere uh, over there. The guy. Glad you knew that. <laughs> I don't so know why I'm bothering you. Know Some asshole took a breath of the smoke <laughs> and died. Okay, a Pakistan man, I think. Yeah, I Islamabad. Took, I took a breath of a flag and died. His turban went on fire and he croaked. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? What a fucking story. It's such yeah, a, a Pakistan man has died from inhaling smoke from burning a U.S. flag during a protest against the anti Islamic. Film on the innocence of Muslims. 
<laughs> Abdullah Ishmael died in uh, Mayo Hospital in Lahore. Yeah, after Lahore. After complained of feeling unwell during an angry demonstration. I want to thank the Surgeon General for not putting any danger signs on flags <laughs> for when you smoke them. Uh, I think that's a good idea. And I, and I can't believe Muslims are killing people over a movie because if we did that, do you know how many people we would have to kill over bad movies? Well, that's what I'm Very saying. True. The protests are because the movie is so bad. I mean that movie Those Jackie's in that we play it all the time. We'd have to we'd oh, have to have yeah. a riot over you that. Put one. him in an Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, Jennifer yeah. Lopez would have been murdered thirty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love too that like you know it, the, the whole logic of burning down your own country because you're angry with the United States is just so fucking brilliant. I mean that's like um. If I hated Jay Leno and I punched myself in the head over it. <laughs> well, look at the <laughs> woman I mean? who blew herself up. Right. I'm going to blow. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, blowing myself up. Yeah. I'm, I, that movie is making me blow myself up. I'm, I'm, I'm blowing myself up over a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, Sal, what can All I right. tell you? I mean. Well, thank you for once liking again. Well. Yeah. Try to be on time to me. I will. I apologize. Yes. Thank you. I love busting his balls. Some guy on Twitter had the fucking balls to ask me, why do you like busting Sal's balls so much? I go, did you not listen to the show from 91 to 2006? Gary. I mean, give me a fucking break. Gary, you you were under fire for a second there for this game that you assigned. Well, Howard understands. I, Howard knows I was in with him during the break working on our show stuff, so he knew I had assigned the game to the guys. There's three more. Okay. Which was beautifully parlayed into now Sal getting beat. Well, we had talked about this earlier this morning. I said to Howard, I go, I don't understand why, why Sal had to go make a phone call at 11 o'clock. McDonald's going to be there all day. It's a beautiful thing right now for you. <laughs> Again, I you can't hide that smile on your face. It's, why would I fuck with Sal? Sal fucking used to call me at work all day long and bust my balls. It's good natured. You know, I don't hate Sal. I like, I, 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 you know, if I hated Sal, I'd probably just ignore him. But it's I like a, fucking with him. It's Stern Show karma right now. Yeah. You know, I owe him a couple. Uh, you know, Sal, one million, Gary, three. Okay. Sal. Yes, sir. This was sprung upon you. I saw, I, I, I shot it happening. I mean, Gary came up to you, you had two or three minutes to come up with a game. Yeah, can I go, can we go check the uh, internet where I copied and pasted it? Yeah. Because uh, I just want to see if I copied it and pasted it properly. I could have screwed that up too. Let's take a look here. Um, I just want to see. So you got this right off of our website? I got this off of Mark's Friggin, which is oh. very, very factual. I mean, he, he runs a great site. Um, uh, yeah, well, let's see, Here, here's the quote, I should have said, he said he had two acting jobs and he, that he would, he never would have had, according to Johnny Farrell. Johnny said that Eric didn't take a job, that was the key word, with Adult Swim because he felt it was too satanic. So that was the quote that I pulled, he didn't take a job. And I said to Howard, what's the key word here that I screwed up? He says, job. So according, again, Johnny Frado, the quote was, Johnny Frado's quote was, Eric didn't take a job with Adult Swim because he felt it was too satanic. So we had a scramble. We had three minutes. I was looking for facts. I thought that was a pretty good question. What did Eric turn down that was too satanic? What job? And it was Adult Swim. I don't know. I don't know about the network, so it's, if it's a specific television show, but I know that that specifically was said, and that's the fact that I took. Well, the problem I think why it's getting so convoluted is that Adult Swim is the title of a block of cartoons featured on the Cartoon Network late at night. Right. So there's a lot of layers to this, but all in all, it was sprung upon you, and you were forced to react and try to help Gary out. But then it got spun into an entirely different animal i mean yeah everything you've done wrong in the last month has come into question and then you're you're on your heels mm -hmm. do you feel like you can't win in those situations i mean they're calling you a con artist they're calling yeah, that's, man that's and... a little heavy uh yeah you can't win no you can't you can't fight city hall and you can't fight the howard stern show the house always wins absolutely absolutely i mean uh and this is some house this is crazier than the white house in this place and uh you have to take your lumps that's how the show works look Howard's running the show. 
uh, we needed things, we had to scramble, we had to put it together. I took this quote, we needed a quick fact immediately, that's how it was quoted, that's how it was said, and uh, unfortunately it didn't relay properly, and I'm responsible for it. At the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, I'm the one who pulled the quote, even though it was to the T, it didn't translate right, and uh, I have to take my lumps. Does it bother you the fact that this one small error sort of negates all these things that you've done well over the years? I mean, it seems like they take one small error in a game that you scrambled to put together to help out Gary, your boss, and all of a sudden everything else is coming into question. Your lateness for meetings, everything else. I mean, I, although he liked your prank call, that's great and all, but... Does it bother me? Yeah, does it, does it sort of reignite your fire against Gary? Nah. I mean, I'm, I'm just like... I don't know. I'm... It's, I'm at the point where I'm completely desensitized to insults and to being badgered. Uh, I, I don't focus on that anymore. You know what I focus on? I just focus on my work and I try to do the best that I could do. You're going to take your lumps, but if I focus on that, it's just going to interfere with my creative process. So I don't let it bother me. It's when I used to listen to the show, it was funny as hell when Howard would berate and beat up somebody over making a mistake. Like, you know, if, if you go back into time and you type in Gary Delabate and mistakes, there's a billion of them. But that's what made great radio. I'd rather just be, I'd rather just do everything right and avoid that aspect of the great radio. But that's the way it goes. I know I loved it. I hope at least in some odd way, if Howard yelled at me, it was entertaining in some capacity. So if I'm contributing in that way, so be it. I screwed up, take my lumps, let the audience, you know, piss on my parade. I get it. I'm a fan. I, I, I know how both sides work. And it's all good. So, but I try not to focus on it. I do focus on it. I, I would be lying if I said it didn't bother me. It does. But what am I going to do? Made a mistake go back to work and hope that something else does work every you know and that's that's the way it works that's that's how any job works and right following that was a killer phone call how was very pleased and uh, we cracked a few jokes and we moved on how does it end does howard view you how as does a... it end you have a rope no <laughs> <laughs>